I think we can all agree that effects are the most fun part of mixing. They can set a mix over the top or ruin it. I think that we're gonna set it over the top of this one though. So in this delay trick, we're gonna really help out singers from front of house where they're gonna just sound larger than life and really help in those big moments. So if you like this, I'd encourage you to hit the link in the description and download my free reverb cheat sheet where I give you more effects settings that can really set your mix to the next level. So let's go. All right guys, so here's the settings I use for a delay that I don't leave on all the time. I use this as a delay throw. So if a singer hits a big note and you really want to emphasize it and make it sound just big, larger than life, then you'll throw this delay up just on the big, big spots. So here's the settings I use. So at 100% mix, and then I'll tap in at a quarter note to the tempo of the song, whatever it is, and then I use the stereo mode, factor left and factor right. I set to just a uh, just a quarter note, and then offset left right to minus five milliseconds. It's not really noticeable. All it does is just add some width to the delay, but doesn't make it pan, you know bounce around or anything. It's still going to sound mono technically, I guess, but it's just going to sound wide. And then I'll low cut. You know, usually around 200, right now I have it 181, high cut at 3K, and then the feed low cut at 105, and then feed left and feed right are both at 20%. So this isn't going to go on a long time, it's really just going to bounce for just a second or two and then be gone, and then the feed high cut at 3K. So then I will also put the delay to, to the send on a DCA. I do this because... I want it to send to the delay only when I want it to, so that whenever I turn it on, it's not getting the words that were coming before. It's only going to get the stuff that I send to it. So whenever I turn up the DCA, it'll sound like this. Check, 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 check. So you can see that it's kind of a lo-fi sounding delay. It doesn't have much top end or low end. almost has a radio-ish sound to it. That kind of will... Just add a delay that cuts through the mix, and really if the singer's doing something big in the moment, your focus isn't going to be on the delay, it's going to be on the singer and what they're doing at that time, and this just really adds some depth to it. It's not going to be something really exaggerated or you know wild sounding, it's just going to add some depth and some life to what's already happening. So give these settings a try and let me know what you think.